Items for sale. Doo -doo. <laughs> Phew! Finally calculated those sales taxes. Now, what am I going to sell today? Oh, I have nothing to sell. <sighs> if I want to open up my store, I need to have something to sell. Hmm, I wonder if I could What's ask anybody to work? put their antiques on display in my store. I'll go ask. <laughs> I like this bell. Yeah, but it gets annoying every time it rings. Oh, come on, Byron. Don't you just like the sound? It's all dingy. And zingy. Dot jar. I like this maraca. Because it's Mexican style music. I like this compass because it takes me to exactly where I should go. Psh, ow! What? Nah, sort of. Dot dar. Hmm. Hello, everyone. Oh, hi. What are you doing here? Well, I am opening up a store nearby in the middle of town, but I don't know if you would be okay with me taking your items. Why? Because... Uh, you can't open up a store if you have nothing to sell. I was wondering if I could take these items. Oh, uh, yeah. Take as many as you can. Okay. And without noticing, he took Byron's compass. Sharp the number buttons to learn. Oh, dear. Byron loves that campus. I mean, compass. Oh, you're 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 opening a store. Oh well, why not have this bell? Oh no 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 no! I can't take your bell. You loved that bell. Yeah, but Byron says it's getting annoying. It's because of the ringing. Shush. Anyways, I'll do anything to make him happy. Really? Thank you, and me happy too. All right, I just need one more item at minimum. Joan? Yes? I was wondering if I could take your maraca for my store sale. Oh, you have barely anything to sell? Yeah, without anything to sell, I will not have enough money to work. Oh, well then take my maraca. But wait, June, that's your maraca. I know, but I have plenty of other maracas, so don't worry. Oh, okay. Well, in that case, can I take just one more? Uh, yeah, I have a lot more maracas. Here you uh, you can take... Aha! Uh -huh. You can take this one. It's a maraca with a face. I still have a lot more maracas. So, don't worry. Oh, okay. The more things I sell, the more money I get. Perfect. Okay, now, need to do my work. Perfect. All right. Hey, I think it's bedtime. Oh, okay. It is one day later. Oh my goodness. I can't believe it. I'm not getting enough sleep today. I'm not getting enough sleep. I'm not sleeping enough. I'm not sleeping enough. Time to pay the taxes again. Which number should I press for change? Oh my goodness. Customers will come soon. Good morning, everyone. Oh, good morning, Byron. Ah, good morning, Byron. Wow, your store looks fantastic so far. Yes. <gasps> Wait a minute, what's that? It's Byron's old Press compass. The <gasps> you took Byron's old compass. Shush, don't tell him, Mango. He'll never notice. <laughs> To the learning lodge navigator to the 
All right, let's go and check the store. Wow, it's so cool. It's very cool. Yes. I have customers coming. Oh, who are they? Hello. Oh, they're blueberry and lollipop. Hello. Hi. That's a nice sound. Can I keep this fell? Yes, of course you will have to pay me. Yes, of course. I have ten bucks. Oh, this bell actually only costs five bucks. Oh, a ten dollar bill is all I have and not a five dollar one. I'm sorry, I have way too much money. No, no, that's okay. I could just split the money into two five dollar bills so that I could get a five dollar bill and you could get a five dollar bill as well. Oh, okay. All right, two five dollar bills. Make ten. So, yep, my number generator generates how much money we give or get. Thank you! Keep the change while you're at it. Oh, I love this bell! Your store looks terrific. Hey! What about this? And this. Ooh, they make a nice sound. Can I keep those? Yeah, they are for 10 bucks. 10 bucks? Man, things are getting expensive around here. I have an $11 bill. Don't worry. I will just have $10 and you could get $1 back, which makes 11. Thank you. Keep the change while you're at it. Thank you. Sure. Guess what I got, Lollipop? You got the right. Let's jam the Mexican style. Woohoo! All right, there's just one more thing left. I don't know if any more customers are going to come. Hello! Oh, hello! There. Uh, hmm. The store is pretty empty. I don't want to buy anything. Well, thanks for stopping by. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's a new compass. <gasps> oh my goodness, it's the exact same one. And it even matches my old one. Yes, Byron, that's because... Shh, Mango. It is your old compass. Dun. What? Dun, dun. Well, I need to have something to sell, Byron. <laughs> the store will not be a real store without that That's compass. Number, yeah, but it's my compass. Do you want to buy it? Ah, heck, why not? So how much is it? One dollar? Two dollars? It's actually 50 cents today. Hmm, very cheap stuff around here. I have a one dollar bill. Don't worry. I'll just split you. Uh, I'll just split the dollars in half. <laughs> sure. I will get um, 50 cents, and you keep 50 cents. My thank you. Sorry if that was wasting your time. I know that was a compass. Don't worry, you're not wasting my time. I got more change. See, so the time was worth it. Yay! Now I can finally get to where I need to go. Ow! Oh, uh, well, mostly finally. Dot dar. Don't worry, I'm sure that compass will work if you just give it time. Thank you. <laughs> Bye. Ow, sorry. It's okay, that happens. Bye. Bye-bye. Hmm. What's left you what's left to do? Oh, um, I just have to calculate all these sales taxes that appear on the screen. Four, five, three, six, two. It must be very hard working at your job. It is indeed a leaf. I have to find the square roots of money, too. Square roots? What are those? Uh, you will not learn those until you get to sixth grade, Mango. <laughs> it's kind of like basic stuff. Or, not sixth grade, uh, seventh grade. Yes, yeah, seventh grade's more accurate. You will learn it in seventh grade. Although you can learn in sixth grade. Sixth grade or seventh grade, you will learn square roots. <laughs> wow, that's very cool! Yep, mostly in middle school. Oh, it's so exciting! <sighs> I'm 
I'm sorry that you don't have anything to play with now. Don't worry. At least I could get other toys. Woo! Like this. Oh, yeah! Ta-da! Woohoo! It's a trophy stand. I can stand on it. Wow! I could bring a toy, too. A gumball machine! Does it actually work? No. Dot dar. It's a toy machine. Press the number button. Despite it being small and made of plastic. Ooh. That's everything sold. That that's everything sold at my store. Now I'm done working. Huh, oh, phew. Yeah, see you soon, computer AI. Now it's time for me to take a break. Yay! Woohoo! Woohoo! Hmm. I wonder what. I, I wonder how old that compass is. Yeah, the one that Byron has. <gasps> Wait a minute. Compasses are pretty old. <gasps> that is an antique. <gasps> oh no! He forgot to bring it to the museum. Oh dear, we have to tell Byron. Hey, uh, Byron! Ah! Oh, uh, hi. What you doing? Um, actually, we don't want to disappoint you, but, um, I think that watch, I mean, compass, sorry, confusing with something, I think that compass is really old. What? So? This is an antique, one of a kind and very valuable. <gasps> Then it belongs in the museum. So it does. Oh, sorry, Byron. No, it's okay. I could just bring one of my toys like this. Mango and June taught me that. <laughs> yes, we did. Ooh, nice gumball machine. Thank you. <sighs> sorry. It's just that these old antiques are protected by our museum amendments. So, but don't worry, you can come to the museum anytime you like to see your compass. Thank you. You're welcome. And the best part is, it's only a few inches away from our home. Yeah, very cool, isn't it? It is one week later. Okay. Oh no, I forgot to do something. The museum! I forgot to bring Byron's old compass to the museum. It's an antique. Oh no! Wait a minute. How did it end up there? Oh! oh good morning! Hmm. Did you guys put it up there? Yes! Ron, don't worry, we calculated how much change it had. It had around $3.50. Oh my goodness. That is the most sweetest thing you could do for me. Thank you. Thank you for doing it for me. I didn't get any rest. You're welcome. What are friends for? <laughs> ah, it's always so good to have friends. Yes, it is. Do you want to see my brother? Hello. Ah. Who are you? He's Oregon. Oh, yeah, I forgot. <laughs> Trying to remember everyone's name when I actually met them before. <laughs> yes. <laughs> I love this brother. I love him. I love him. <laughs> uh, I love you, too. <laughs> Woohoo! <laughs> it could work as a nice rattle or log, kind of. Rolling it. Woo! Oh, what the heck? Woo! Yes, it could be a birdie. What's a birdie in that sense? Oh, it's just like a sports um equipment. You just throw it over a net. Oh, I'm a bird. Oh, oh. Uh, can you throw me? Okay. Wait! Huh? I'm a birdie too! Right? I'm a birdie. 
Woohoo! <laughs> oh, mango. <laughs> Is there anything else I can help you with? Well, I'm opening a store too. Really? I just opened one. Yes! It has all these antiques. What beautiful things. Oh, I'm sorry, but the antiques belong to the museum. Sorry, bud. Oh, that's okay. This is not an antique. It's a recently bought product. Ooh, an umbrella. Maybe someone special would like it. And I also have a turtle picture frame. Wow, very cool. <laughs> well, I will wish you luck. All right. Bye, brother. Ah. <laughs> Welcome to my store. Ooh. Yeah, okay. That costs five bucks. Yeah. The world is just busy, busy, busy. 24-7. I know. Even us dogs have to work sometimes. Really? Yes, but not in the same way actual dogs do. Dot dar We're different dogs. And we're a unique group. Yes! <laughs> Come on, let's play! Oh, why not? <laughs> Woohoo! Yeah! Yay! <laughs>